Okay, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome everyone on this fine day on Linwood Avenue. My name is Bruce Baird and I'm the Executive Director of Renew Indianapolis. And it is my pleasure today, <laughs> we planned that. It is my pleasure today to introduce a few special guests as we gather to celebrate the 200th property sale by Renew Indianapolis in 2018. Renew Indianapolis is fortunate to have extraordinary partners in city government, including the Department of Metropolitan Development, led by Emily Mack, and the city's Department of Business and Neighborhood Services, led by uh, Brian Madison. We absolutely could not do our work without them. Renew's success is a result of leadership provided by Mayor Hogsett and the Mayor's Office team, including Deputy Mayor Jeff Bennett and many others. We could not accomplish this work without their passion for improving every neighborhood in this city. Please join me in welcoming the Honorable Mayor Joe Hogsett. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, hello and good morning. Um, I'm glad to see the DPW truck moved while Bruce was speaking and, and uh, before I got started. But city services are working. Thank you all for being here and joining with us this morning on what Bruce has I think accurately described as a celebration. We mark a significant accomplishment this morning. The Department of Metropolitan Development in partnership with Renew Indy's 200th property sale. And I should mention DMD and Renew Indy aren't stopping here. In fact, they expect to complete an additional 50 sales by the end of this year alone. <laughs> Nevertheless, today marks the second record-breaking year in a row for this partnership aimed at stabilizing and revitalizing Indianapolis's neighborhoods. And here I'll be shameless uh, and note as a plug for this terrific program that 180 new surplus properties are now available on the Renew Indi uh, Indianapolis website at renewindianapolis.org. So for our friends in the press, make sure that residents throughout the city know that there's an additional 180 properties that are just waiting to be scooped up. Today's purchaser, and I hope he is introduced to speak in a moment, will be raising a family right here on the east side of Indianapolis. Yes. This home, as you know, is within sight of School 58, as well as a short distance from Thomas Carr Howe High School. By the way, that's a high school that has produced two interns serving in the mayor's office just this year. They'll be just minutes away at this home, just minutes away from a pool and two indie parks, not to mention only a mile away from the bustling downtown that is Irvington. I congratulate our new property owner on this investment in one of the most up and coming areas of the city. Last year, I announced a plan to rehab, transform, or demolish 2,000 homes in two years. It was an ambitious plan. Since that time, however, city departments have partnered with community groups to accomplish that goal, aiding in residential repairs and rehabs, funding the construction of new housing and apartments, and eradicating neighborhood blight. Today is indeed 
just another step as part of that effort. And thanks to the Rehab Match Loan Program offered through the Indianapolis Neighborhood Housing Partnership, new homeowners can see a matching investment of up to $15,000 for any repairs that they make. That is a substantial and consequential investment for homeowners in terms of the rehab match loan program. So, whether it be marking the 200th property, whether it be acknowledging and celebrating 2,000 transformed homes, either rehabbed, updated, upgraded, or demolished, Today is a great day for renewal in the city of Indianapolis. I want to thank the Department of Metropolitan Development for all the work that they have put into these property sales. I also want to thank Bruce Baird and Renew Indianapolis, as well as everyone. I know Mora is in the, uh, the audience. Rob is with us up here. I want to thank everyone at INHP for their tremendous help. And so I am now pleased to introduce the counselor representing this uh, neighborhood uh, on the Indianapolis Marion County City County Councilor, Council, Councilor Blake Johnson. Counselor. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's always my goal to go just three to four minutes longer than the mayor, so buckle up. <laughs> I. Uh, you know, there's an old quote that uh, home is where our story begins. And what a story this is, 200 homes. Uh, it's, uh, you know, for me, I, I think about my home, it's a place where I retreat away from ridiculous days. It's a place where you forge memories with your family, uh, but it's also about stability. It's about, it's about feeling a sense of place uh, in an otherwise kind of wild world. And so uh, it, it's just very, very exciting to know that for the 200th time, we're taking um, enormous steps, not to just provide stability for families, but to provide stability throughout our neighborhoods and community. Um, I cannot thank the mayor and DMD and Renew Indianapolis enough for the impact we're making all over this city in terms of taking homes that are in disrepair and turning them into homes that we can create memories in. So I'm just grateful uh, to represent this area, to be a part of today, uh, and look forward to the ongoing work to just continue seeing this be uh, just another example of the way our mayor and our city is working together to make big things happen in our neighborhoods. So thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. And it's also my goal to, to speak even longer than Blake Johnson. Um, <laughs> This is about renewal and revival, and it's what we all crave in, in, in our districts. All of us counselors want to see this, this, this kind of thing happen. Um, when we see new families move in, we see neighborhoods stabilize, um, we, we, we see improvement and growth, um, and it's just really, really exciting. And I'm a little bit jealous of my, uh, of my friend Blake Johnson, um, just thinking about when we redraw the maps, kind of what I'll do to pull in. Um, just kidding. Um, that shouldn't be on the record at all. Um, it is but, now. <laughs> but, but the main thing is a thank you, an enormous thank you, one, to the mayor for, you know, for his vision. Uh, two, an enormous thank you uh, to Renew Indianapolis under the leadership of Bruce Baird. Um, he's a phenomenal leader and, 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 and has a great vision. And then, of course, um, INHP. Um, their, their match, their grants, um, their willingness to, to, to get their hands dirty um, in all communities of our, of our city is impressive. And that's, I think, the vision that we've got for Indianapolis. When we work together, our, our, our neighborhoods and our communities are transformed. And I just want to say thank you to all of, uh, all of those individuals. Thank you, Councilor Johnson, and thank you, Councilor Osley. We appreciate your support and the support of city councilors from districts throughout the city. And we're also very fortunate that Council President Osley serves as a member of the Renew Board of Directors. So he's guiding us on a, on a regular basis. Now it's my pleasure to introduce another important partner with us here today. The Indianapolis Neighborhood Housing Partnership has supported land banking and Renew Indianapolis for many years. This year, 
Renew joined the Indy program that provides core operating support for community development organizations. And today, as noted by Mayor Hogsett, we're now launching a new loan program with INHP known as Rehab Batch. Rob Evans is the COO and Executive Vice President of INHP, and Rob is a member of Renew's monthly application review committee. How long, Rob? Mm -hmm. The number you three, four years, probably? Four years. Four years. So that's many, many hours of service. That's many, many hours of service to renew already. So Rob, please join us. Hey Rob. Good morning, everybody. Uh, Bruce, I want to thank you for your team's efforts to bring us all together here today on what is truly a celebratory occasion. 200 properties already in the year, and the year is not over. Also, I do feel very privileged to be a part of the review committee as we work collectively toward reclaiming and renewing housing in our city that is safe, decent, and affordable. IHP is here today because we empower people to reach their dream of home ownership. One of the ways we do that is through the Rehab Match Loan Program. We want to reward trained craftsmen, plumbers, electricians, or other skilled individuals who want to use their talents to improve a vacant or abandoned home. This program offers a first mortgage which covers the total cost of acquisition and rehab then INHP will match a borrower's sweat equity investment up to $15,000 based on the work the buyer can perform themselves. The program was initially designed to encourage buyers to invest in five distinct neighborhoods, Riverside, Crown Hill, St. Clair Place, Inglewood, and Mapleton Fall Creek. But today, we are excited to announce the expansion of this program to apply to all Renew Indianapolis land bank properties. Again, today, we're excited to announce the expansion of this program to apply to all Renew Indianapolis Land Bank properties. Buyers who qualify can put their skills to work in any neighborhood they choose. Not only will they reap the benefits of their rehab investment, but they will also be able to take advantage of the sweat equity match and a 20-year financing option that will help them own their home faster. It's an innovative program nationwide which can only be accessed through INHP. When we work in tandem with city and local leadership, we develop opportunities that otherwise couldn't or wouldn't exist. All for the benefit of people who want to realize their dream of homeownership in Indianapolis. Bruce, Mayor Hogsett, thank you for being a partner and thank you for believing in the value of Rehab Match. We're excited for the opportunity it will bring to Indianapolis neighborhoods. Thank you. Hey, Rob. All right, finally, I'd like to thank a few people who were instrumental in getting us here today. The Renew Board of Directors, led by our chair, Gareth Cool, who has a sick child, and so he couldn't be here with us today. The very hardworking and talented staff of Renew, Chris Hartley, Nicholas Huno, who's up on the porch, and Osha Brownlee. Wave your hands. Yay, Osha. Mm -hmm. I want to thank the Marion County Commissioners, Joseph O'Connor, Claudia Fuentes, and Julie Voorhees, and the staff of the Marion County Treasurer's Office, Cindy Land, Josh Peters, and Ryan Capshu. And finally, the real estate team in DMD, Jeff Hasser, Mickey Rogers, Matt Hostetler, and Steve Schollmeyer. Thank you all. We could not do this work without you. Okay, now the reason we really are all here. The closing of this home took place on the front porch 30 minutes ago. And that's thanks to a mobile closing, a very mobile closing, <laughs> by our friends at First American Title Company. The keys are here and ready to hand over to our buyer, Mohammed Mogul. Welcome to your new home. Mohammed, welcome. Take some pictures. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. There's the key. This is an oversized key, <laughs> but and I'm sure I'm I'm not sure it works in any locks. But Mohammed, we uh, we presented to you today, celebrating the 200th home, and I know that this will be a wonderful place 
uh, to live, to work, uh, and to raise uh, your collective family. So congratulations uh, on home ownership. Thank you. Congratulations. Got it? Yeah. Great. Thank you all very much. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Can I, can I go in and blow? <laughs> can I just go in and blow? <laughs>